Hey, peace, love, and light, my beautiful Scorpios. Welcome to First Eye Visions. My name is Q, and I am here to do a general reading for you all. This is going to be part two, <laughs> part two of the They Pray and Pray on Your Downfall series. I just wanted to, um, I wanted to focus more on that energy because I feel like the uh, reading yesterday didn't really delve deep enough into what was lurking um, in the background. So I do want to focus spoke. Um, specifically on that energy so i do have a lot of cards um that are more um that dark energy you know i got the dark grimoire i have um my many things i got my witches uh deck so we're gonna really focus in on that energy see what's looking uh lurking and looming in the background um Welcome to anyone who may be new. My name is Q, as I said. I, too, am a Scorpio. I am an empath. I am intuitive, and I am also clairaudience, so I do incorporate music into my readings, and they tend to blend very beautifully with the messages that come out with the uh, tarot cards. Um, right now, we have India Irie, and the name of the song is called Strength, Courage, and Wisdom. Um... I feel like a lot of you all are exhibiting strength, courage, and wisdom. I feel like, um, especially with it's 642, so that's 66. Uh, so I do feel like a lot of you are very sensitive right now, psychically, intuitively. You're more trusting of your intuition. Uh, so that's why you're exhibiting this strength, this courage, and this wisdom. Because it's like you're trusting your intuition. You're trusting that gut instinct, that gumption. Um... And I feel like this this trust that you have this is is almost radiating as a sense of confidence. It's like an air of confidence, an air of beauty. Um, others are drawn to you, attracted to you. Um, we have Tweet playing beautiful. So there are people who are uh, finding you to be very attractive at this time, um, whether physically or just you have a beautiful soul, a beautiful spirit. Um, there's a likeness about you. There is something that's likable. And there are people who are um, a little envious of that. They're envious of the attention that some of you all may be getting. They're envious of this, this you know, newfound um, confidence that you all are exuding and ex exhibiting at this time. Um, and they're also jealous and envious of the attention that you're getting. So there is someone that notices your beauty uh, and your beauty is deeper than just physical, as I said, there is a beauty um, that is in the depths of your soul. So you just exude beauty. You exude this likeness, this love, this, you know, this energy that's just, you know, very um, endearing, inviting, you know, and there's others that are really bitten by the smitten bug. So you have some folks that don't like that. They don't like the fact that you're getting attention. They don't like the fact that you're drawing perhaps the attention of some of um, maybe some of their love interests, somebody that they may be, um, you know, interested in. They know that they like you. So they're kind of like projecting their insecurities onto you. But we shall see. That's just what I'm picking up. Um, so let's go ahead, do some house cleaning. So this is going to be a general reading. As I said, um, my, my readings are general meaning eat the fish, spit out the bones. If they don't apply, if it doesn't apply, just let it fly by. Do not try to force a story to be your story. Know that you're more than just your sun sign. So check your moon, your rising, your Venus, your Mercury, your Mars. Just check your other placements for a more clear and concise message for you. Okay. Um, also check your Vedic, you know, um, I've mentioned in previous readings, um, I know I've learned that um, as a Scorpio in Vedic astrology, I would um, follow Libra readings. Um, and as I started to do that, I noticed just how strongly those readings resonated. So it's very important to know your chart. I do have a link in my description box where you can uh, generate your natal chart so that you can see what your other placements are because you're not just a Scorpio, you know, uh, so check your other placements, see what else is going on in your chart. Um, this is also a timeless reading. So whenever you find yourself clicking on this video is exactly the divine timing intended for you all to do so. So whether you click on this video a week from now, a month from now, two years from now, that was the divine timing intended for you all to do so. Okay. So let's go ahead, do some house cleaning. 
Let's call upon the elements of water, fire, earth, air, ether, and spirit. Ashe. I ask our beautiful angels, archangels, ancestors, ascended masters, spirit guides, deities, animal totems, earth, mother Gaia, universe, source, the divine, most high God, our creator, to shine a powerful, powerful message of love and delight. I call personally upon Baba Obatala, Baba Ogun, and Mama Oya and Mama Yemenya to bless me with the intuition and discernment of my cards. Help me to pick up on the energy, number, synchronicity, and vibrations of my cards. And so it is. So mote it be. Ashe, Ashe, Ashe. So right now we have Prince, and this is called New Position. So some of you all were promoted. And that could be why somebody's hating because you just got a new position. You just got a new pay increase. You just got some sort of bonus. Maybe you've repositioned yourselves, um, you know, and there's some, some changes, some positive changes. Uh, but I do see here, like, there's a new position. Some of you all are going to be, um, are going to be um, promoted is what I'm picking up. So we have on the bottom of the deck I will be using. This is the Witch's um, Wisdom deck. We have Hex. And then we have banishment. So I feel like because this is pointing at you, someone is really trying to block some sort of uh, blessing, some sort of opportunity for you. Um, maybe there is a new position that you all are applying for. And with this hex, somebody could potentially be trying to bind you or restrict you or prevent you from receiving that promotion. Um, I do feel like because it says banishment, many of you are, are very mindful to protect yourselves and your energy. So many of you could be doing like um, spiritual baths. You could be cleansing your homes with Palo Santo, sage, burning say, uh, bay leaves, cinnamon, you know, throwing, um, you know, black salt in your corners of your home. Some of you all could be washing your walls and your floors with Palo Santo, uh, with Florida water, um, with rue water. Some of you all could just be burning, um, you know, cinnamon in a pot and letting it simmer and just walking through the home to just kind of purify the energy. Maybe you're using um, essential oils, you know, um, but I do feel like a lot of you have been working um you know, kind of like countering this energy um, and returning this shit right back to sender. Because I do feel like, you know, especially with this new position, maybe some of you all have been initiated uh, as healers, shamans, light workers, practitioners in spirituality. And so spirit is guiding you to, you know, banishing negativity. Maybe you're picking up, um, you know, as I said, because you're highly sensitive. Uh, so maybe you're picking up intuitively uh, that somebody is trying to, um, you know, mark you trying to send negativity your way um so please be mindful of that you know be mindful do your due diligence to always fortify the protection around you because you have people that are um you know kind of looming and lurking and spying so definitely you know create um you know, a fiery wall of protection around yourselves. Uh, definitely call upon your angels. You could call upon the angels um, in each cardinal direction. Um, there is an angel that protects each direction. And if you look online, you could see which direction and you could just literally call them to you and ask them to protect you, um, literally, you know. And so you will, um, you can do that as a protective um, uh, ritual or a defensive um as a, def a, a defensive practice or a ritual, um, you also, you know, might want to be mindful of like what you're sharing. Cause I feel like a lot of you all could be like sharing things, whether knowingly or not. And, and, and somebody is using your words or using information, you know, against you. You know what I'm saying? And, and the song that's playing right now is Ki uh, Prince, and it's called Kiss. But I keep hearing Kiss of Death, Kiss of Death. So maybe this is somebody that you all have dealt with. This could be an ex-lover, or this could be family, friends, people that you would kiss. I don't know... Um, you know, you know how you kiss people on the cheek, even if you're kissing someone literally on the lips. Um, but I keep hearing the term Kiss of Death, even though this song is um, Kiss. Uh, so be mindful. And because this says Prince, maybe this is a masculine energy. And I feel like this person is parading around because this is from the parade album. And so maybe this is somebody parading around pretending to be your friend. 
and we have winter so this is someone that you know the the, the connection is dead stinking and buried um something was dissolved you know and i feel like somebody literally is you know perhaps trying to set you up trying to line you up is what i'm hearing also so divine spirit of love and light what messages you have for our beloved scorpios divine spirit of love and light what messages do you have for our beloved scorpios may have a message clear message for scorpios divine spirit of love and light see that what did i just say it was a masculine energy because it says prince and then we have masculine so this is somebody that could be a little perturbed because you took your power back Especially being as though you opened up the reading with strength, courage, and wisdom. So you are stronger now. Maybe this person was used to um, manipulating you, monopolizing situations, getting over. Because this this is like the divine masculine. So this is somebody that wants things their way. You know, so this could have been somebody very used to controlling the narrative, controlling you, getting what they want, doing things their way. And now it's almost like you're challenging them and they don't like that. And that's why I keep hearing kiss of death. Because it's like this person is almost like smiling and beguiling. And I'm hearing like this person is saying a lot of things uh, behind your back. So it's almost like they are, you know, it's like defamation of character. But when they see you, they're smiling. And then I was hearing, would you kiss your mother with that mouth? I was hearing that loud in my mind's eye. Like, would you kiss your mother? Because the name of the song is Kiss. And then I was hearing Kiss of Death. So it's almost like this person, you know, definitely doesn't rock with you. They don't rock with you. They're pretending, they're parading around as they do, but this is only to get what they want because this Lord, or, um, Lord God, the emperor is like somebody that's like, they will stop at nothing. You know, they, they like having power and they're not afraid to wage, um, you know, war or to, you know, um, they'll stop at nothing to get what they want. That I just hear that. And then we have moments in love, and this is by Art of Noise. So this person knows how to um, almost distract you. They have an art to distracting you because the art of noise to me is like, you know, in this case, they're saying music. Music is the art of noise. The noise that you're hearing with, um, you know, this particular song would be moments in love. But with this person, it's like they've they've mastered the art of you know, confusion, illusion, delusion, you know? And some of them know how to like, because he has what appears to be some sort of musical instrument. And, you know, we all know, like, I don't know if everyone knows, but I've learned, you know, in recent years, um, you know, that the devil controls music. And so maybe this person is someone that is an illusionist is someone who knows how to manipulate situations. You know, this is somebody who also will use nostalgia to get what they want. So maybe this is somebody who uses words. You know, this is a very persuasive energy, somebody very meticulous, very intentional with what they're doing. So I'm getting like master manipulator. You know, because this is what that energy is. Um, somebody that is like greedy with power is damn near like a narcissist. So just be mindful because I feel like somebody's trying to finesse you. And they may use memories, you know, moments that you all were in a more loving connection or loving dynamic. They may use that to finesse you. But it's all noise because the art of noise. So the art of their, what they can do is manipulate you. To get what they want. I hope that makes sense. So divine spirit of love and light. What messages you have for our beloved Scorpios? Bottom of the deck we have containment. See that? So this person is trying to contain you. Keep you stuck. 1414. The divine is saying end this shit. I feel like you already did. And that's why this person is a little frustrated. Aggravated. And this is why. Because they're trying to restrict you. Block your blessings. Remember strength, courage, and wisdom. I feel like you're exhibiting this strength, courage, and wisdom. And this is something that this person isn't used to. They're used to being able to keep you stuck, stagnant, up in your head, mind fucking you, gaslighting you. And so what this person may do is they may, you know, literally love bomb you. They may bring up the past, send you music that reminds you of when you both were going through that honeymoon phase. But it's all the art of noise. It's all the art of illusion and delusion. 
It's entrapment. It's to keep you contained, stuck, and not moving forward, not looking to leave. Even if you look closely, there's like orbs of light. And so I do feel like, especially with that hex, and there's a train going by and, and there's a horn. So I do feel like the divine is trying to catch your attention. 15, 15, that's 16. Or that's 6, 6, 12, that's 3. This is somebody that broke your heart in the past. So this person will use... And this train is, is continuing to honk. So it's like the divine is trying to get your attention because the art of noise. So the art of noise, that's very distracting as I'm trying to channel in on the energy, right? So imagine if somebody sees that you're, you're, you're focused, you're in a state of focus and you're, you know, working towards something, but they are bombarding you with messages, trying to remind, you know, trying to take you back to a place that no longer exists so it's the art of noise it's like i keep hearing illusion and delusion and with containment this is somebody that doesn't want you to move on you're moving on but this person is trying to keep you contained and stuck this is somebody that's really like seething angry this fire is really reminding me you know it's like of rage i'm hearing the word rage but your ancestors your angels this person could be doing some sort of spell work because we saw hex we saw the hex and banishment, so you are very aware. You're, you're exhibiting strength, courage, and wisdom, so a lot of you are already in the know in terms of energy that's around you. You're picking up on it because you're like high priestess vibes. And remember, we had the song, um, um, what was that song by Prince? Oh, my goodness. And it was called um, New Position. And then we had the song Kiss, and I kept hearing Kiss of Death. So it's like this person is trying to line you up, trying to set you up. But you have to exhibit strength, courage, and wisdom. You didn't get this far to, do, to fall right back in the trap, you know. And the name of this song is War. And it says, don't let no one get you down. And it's 6.58 on the clock, so that's 10. And it's 1717 on this clock right now. So that's 8, 8, that's 16, that's 7. Trust your intuition. Trust your, trust that, that, that your higher self. I feel like you have to use discernment when it comes to someone. Because I was picking up on the word finesse. I was picking up on the kiss of death. Somebody may be trying to gaslight you. And I do want to show you the name of the song just so you can see. I'm not making this shit up. I show and prove. This is by war. So this person is waging a war. And I hear spiritual warfare. And the divine is telling you, don't let nobody get you down. Don't let nobody catch you out there. And that's why I was saying, like, don't let anybody know your personal business, what you're doing, what you got going on, what you're pursuing. If you're going for a new position, keep it to yourself. Don't even tell your job bestie or your job husband or job wife, whatever y'all be calling these folks. It's like you can't trust nobody when you are um, looking to grow and evolve because at this time, it's almost like, Nobody, you, you can't trust nobody nowadays. It's like people got to show and prove. And it's 18, 18 on the clock. That's 9, 9. This is about changing. It's like you've learned, you know, already that like people you were calling family, friend, people you was calling your lover, people that you done raised, you know, laid down and bore children from or laid down and planted seeds in the womb of a woman. You learned that those were your worst enemies. So you damn sure can't be trusting nobody that you spend, you know, eight hours a day with like you don't really know them like that some of these people are already watching you i feel a lot of energy of people watching and you know because somebody's trying to contain you so obviously they see that you're going places they see that you are you know you have some sort of um you know some inspiration you know some goals you know you're looking to achieve things you're looking to grow and ascend and they want to keep you stuck where they are miserable Misery loves company. And that's why war is playing right now. Because somebody is waging spiritual warfare on you. Can't make that shit up. You saw hex and banishment. And they're also jealous because you've healed yourself. This ace of cups comes when you have implemented the healing on thyself. Now the divine is saying, I'm going to match your vibration and your energy. You all are exhibiting and exuding love, strength, courage, wise dome. And you already know what's going on because you're very sensitive. This Ace of Cups is definitely telling me that you are highly intuitive, very psychic. You're very sensitive 
to energy. You're sensitive. You know, you speak energy, you feel energy. You could just feel if a situation is for you or not. And that's why you're very protective of yourself because you're not letting anyone bring you down or let you down anymore because you've already been there, did that. You've already dealt with people trying to keep you stuck, trying to possess you, control you. All right, let's see. But there is new love because the divine is blessing you with, you know, like I said, you're going to start attracting what you are. So divine spirit of love and light. Who's praying on Scorpio's downfall and why? See that? You got angelic spiritual protection around you and you know this you know what i'm saying you know this your angels and ancestors are protecting you and you got incubation here so something that is like literally on the cusp it's like you're on the cusp you're on the precipice of something new and i feel like this is someone that's going to feel very familiar because i feel your angels your spirit guides your ascended masters your ancestors are bringing someone new that's going to be very protective of you Someone you're going to feel very safe with. And we have SWV, and this is called anything. So this person is going to do anything for you. And that's why this word familiar is here, because I feel like you're going to feel like you've known them, and it's because you did in a former life. This cat is also very impervious to threat. So I feel like you're very intuitive, very aware, and you go by what you feel energetically. You don't just go by words anymore. That's something you did in your past. And this is SWV featuring Wu-Tang, and this is called Anything. So I feel like in the past, you could have did anything and everything for the people in, in, you know, in your life. You know, and this is why they could be trying to, you know, possess you and control you and keep you stuck. You know, because it's like they benefited from that. They benefited from you being selfish and, and, and um, kind. But somebody new is, is coming in. And I feel like this person is being like, you know, prudent and prepared for you. And it's because the divine wants to match the vibration that you are on. You know, this is somebody that's going to speak your love language. Somebody that's already communicating with you telepathically. I'm picking up like past life vibes. And your angels are aligning you with this person. And this person will do anything for you. I feel like a lot of you have manifested this person as well. Who's praying on Scorpio's downfall and why, divine spirit of love and light? Who's praying on Scorpio's downfall and why? Thank you, spirit. What did I say? You got the Ace of Cups here. They're hating on the fact that you've healed that self. And when you heal that self, you love that self. When you love that self, you know that self. That's why you're exuding and exhibiting strength, courage, and wisdom. That's why you have this ray of confidence, this radiation of love and light. That's why somebody is about to come in to match your vibration. And this is a grown ass man that's in the incubation status. So this is somebody that's also going to be well learned, well traveled and experienced. They're gonna have testimony just as you have. You know, they're gonna know how to come in and treat you. They're gonna be emotionally attentive, intelligent, affectionate, honest, and they'll do anything for you. The divine is sending someone really beautiful and this person is going to love you. Not just your physical beauty, but love you, who you are, spiritually, mind, body, soul. They're going to do anything for you. They're going to be protective of you. They're going to feel like your guardian. You know what I'm saying? This is going to be somebody who's going to like, they're going to guard your body. They're going to guard your mind, your soul. They're going to guard you. They're going to be protective. This is going to be like that alpha male that's very protective. You know what I'm saying? This is going to be that masculine that knows when you're walking on the street, they need to be on the outside of that damn street and not have their woman walking on the outside of the street. That's not that's not chivalrous. This is that man that knows that, you know, when there's other men around, he has to be very mindful to be present. You know what I'm saying? Not walking with his head down and being all submissive. This is somebody that's going to protect you, that alpha male. And this is going to be that feminine energy that's not going to be have wandering eyes. This is going to be somebody that knows her role and her position as that divine feminine. Somebody has maternal instinct, nurturing, loving, caring. Somebody that's also, you know, very domestic on top of knowing how to go out and get money. This is somebody, somebody's hating on the fact that you got real love coming in. Somebody that's going to treat you better than they ever did. That's why I was picking up masculine. Some of you all, this is a masculine energy. So feminines, this could be an ex that's hating on you. But for the masculines, this could be, you know, your karmic, your ex's 
new man hating on you. And we see here, this is awakening. You have awakened, beloved. A lot of you all have gone through the dark night of the soul. You've awakened to your true purpose. You've awakened to who you are. You've healed your inner child. You've grown. You've matured. You've leveled up. So who's praying on Scorpio's downfall and why? Somebody is awakening to their love for you too. You know, because this person is in the incubation status. So I do feel like they're going through their dark night of the soul journey. They're healing. Because this is a very, um, this is a, an adult in this incubation status. So this is like something that's like literally in the gestation process. Like they're, they're like kind of like learning all over again. You know, like I said, being pruded. And so we have homecoming. Somebody's returning home to you. Somebody's returning to you because you are like home. You feel like home. We got prosperity here. This is why people are hating. Because you're being rewarded, recognized, blissed, wished fulfillment. You got the Ace of Cups and you got prosperity here. So not only are you going to be emotionally fulfilled, you're going to be financially fulfilled. And this is coming straight from the divine. There's golden opportunities presenting themselves. There's expansion. There's growth. There's forward movement. There's joy. There's opulence. This is success. Like we saw, new position. Some of you all are going to be promoted. You're getting a new position and there's abundance coming with that. Some of you all have new businesses and whatever it is you're creating, it's going to be very successful. Many of you know this because you're having very vivid dreams. You know what I'm saying? Pay attention to your intuition. It's 707 on the clock. So that's reminding me of the crown chakra, but 707 also reduces to 14. That's five. So there could be somebody communicating to you via your dreams or even telepathically, intuitively. Because you're having very vivid dreams. You may need to keep a dream journal and look back and see what you jotted down and research it and see if there's something coming through. Some of you all could be dreaming of numbers and you need to jot those down. Because with this prosperity card, I do feel like there is something coming in. And this is something that you have earned. I feel like a lot of you all have been like going through that dark night of the soul journey. And now you're, you know, it's like you have gone through some sort of regeneration, this rebirth is happening. You're like in this new junction, this new uh, chapter of your lives. And we have here awakening. What did I just say? You've awakened. You've awakened to this truth. And not only have you awakened, I feel like others have awakened to it. They see, you know, your worth and value, which is why now they're trying to contain you, keep you stuck. But your angels and ancestors have been protecting you. You know, opening up your first eye, telling you to be mindful. That's why the guardian card was there because you have spiritual protection. And I feel like you're also highly intuitive. I feel like, you know, you're impervious to threat because of your sensitivity, your psychic abilities or your, 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 that gumption. You got this instinct with homecoming. Many of you returned to who you were. So you did a lot of healing, a lot of healing of past life traumas, childhood traumas, abandonment issues, you know, familial issues. A lot of you all were in relationships that were like loveless, but they were also very codependent, non-reciprocal, and you had to break free from that. I feel like a lot of you became aware of who you are and you're owning it. We got forgiveness on the bottom of the deck. Let's see what we have on the split. Individuality. What did I say? Y'all was in codependent relationships. And you had to forgive yourselves and the people who were kind of like um, taking you for granted and taking advantage of you. You know, I feel like a lot of y'all was just very, you know, I'm going to use the word nice because in this case, it, nice is very fitting. You know, as I told y'all in a former reading, after I looked up the etymology of the word nice, I learned that it meant ignorant, meant foolish. And that's what you were in the past. Now you're being kind. You know what I'm saying? You're not being foolish and ignorant. You're doing things out of the kindness of your heart, not because you feel obligated or not because you're looking to get something in return. So if I give you this, will you love me? If I do this for you, will you show up for me? Are you going to be there for me? It's like there's no exchange. You're doing things simply because you feel that's what you want to do, not because you're being... Uh, forced to do it or you feel obligated to do it or somebody is guilting you know guilt tripping you to do it with nature many of you all have been receiving a lot of downloads when you're out in nature you may be taking a lot of nature walks maybe you need to go outside get out of the home because there are some messages some downloads that are waiting for you 
I do feel like a lot of you all ground, you know, you're very grounded, you're down to earth, you're very much in harmony, balanced. And that's confirmation from the train. See that? Spirituality. So there's a lot of downloads. The 7-7. Seven, seven. So you're very psychic. You're very intuitive. And I do feel like when you're out in nature, you get a lot of downloads. And these downloads really encourage you, you know, to, to stay grounded, you know, to protect your energy, you know, to protect your space. Because there's a lot of shit, you know, lurking nowadays. There's a lot of dark energies out here, you know, demonic energy. There's people out here on demon time all the time. And these people are doing shit in private that you don't know nothing of, you know, hexes and shit like that. And these are people that you could be working with day to day, smiling and beguiling in your face, motherfucking neighbors, old, you know, people that you call family and friends, ex-lovers. And they stay in contact with you because that's the way they can stay, you know, in your energy. The divine saying the act of forgiveness will always free you. Some of you all have forgiven those who were definitely, um, te definitely taking you for granted. Definitely throwing you out of balance. They threw you out of balance. They were mind fucking you gaslighting I feel like a lot of y'all didn't listen to your intuition and I feel like for a long time you guys really blamed yourselves and I feel like you had to learn to forgive yourself first and you also had to forgive those who didn't even ask for your forgiveness so you had to accept apologies you never received we got run DMC this is called runs house so let's go ahead cut this deck so, like I said, this is somebody that you could have shared a home with, planted seeds and roots with. We got on the bottom of the deck, personal growth. So, you grew through this shit. And this is like, you know, this is why they're trying to contain you, keep you stuck. These are people trying to, like, possess you. Like, they're trying to be possessive. You know, it's almost like, you know, like I said in another reading, it's like, these people know they can't beat you because you see through them. So, they're trying to get, you know, they're trying to join you. And they're doing so in a very malicious way. Trying to take your free will from you. Doing hexes and spells and freezing spells and binding spells and all type of shit. You know, concocting shit. 32, 32, that's 5, 5, that's 10. The divine said you ended that shit. This is the end. You know, this was a painful ending learning. Some of y'all learned somebody was doing some shit to y'all. Concocting some shit. But you grew from that. You know, what doesn't kill you makes you stronger. And I feel like not only did you grow from the experience itself, but you also grew in form in terms of listening and trusting your own intuition and not just giving people the benefit of the doubt or just going by their words. It was like you forced, you know, people to give you, you know, show action, you know, put action behind it. So some somebody that kept you contained, somebody that kept you stuck and stagnant, maybe had you in that spirit of lack. You know, in a lack mentality, somebody that always kept, you know, they knew how to push your buttons. I was hearing the word rage earlier. This is somebody that causes you to become enraged. Just the mere thought of that person could probably like just boil your skin. But I feel like you grew from that experience. This was destined. This was preordained. This was something you had to experience. And I feel like you had to experience it because, you know, maybe there was, a, you know, some level of, of self-deception, you know, because you was hoping something to be a certain way. Maybe because, like I said, the song is called Run's House. So maybe this is someone that you were, you know, planting seeds and roots with someone you may have lived with, someone you may have bore a child with or had a children, you know, children with or a child with. And so you felt obligated. You felt in invested in that way. You were invested, you know, but. This was somebody that was using that to their advantage and was bamboozling you and duping you just to get what they wanted. But meanwhile, they was keeping you stuck while they were still out doing whatever the fuck they wanted to do. You know, this was somebody that was also like on some, you know, like I said, like, you know, my way or the highway because he's saying whose house runs house. So this person was, you know, trying to run the household, even though they was doing the bare minimums to keep the shit afloat. They probably wasn't even keeping a job long enough, but they still wanted to be treated like the masculine. They still wanted you 
to treat them like they were the king of the castle, but they weren't keeping a job, holding a job down. Or maybe the feminine energy wasn't taking her ass to work, wasn't cooking and doing nothing, but she still expected you to, you know, pay for her hair, nails and this and that. But she's not keeping, you know, up maintaining the household. Cook, you know, having a, 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 a hot meal waiting for you when you get home or having a clean house. But she still has her hands out looking like fucking cups. So you had to grow from this because a part of this was like, you know, I feel like the seven is also giving me like seven of swords vibes, you know, because that's like self-deception also. But it's also somebody gaslighting and mind fucking you. But you grew from this, you know, because somebody, nobody can contain you and keep you stuck no fucking where, you know, you're stuck only if you see yourself as stuck. If you see yourself as stuck and powerless, then that's that person that's that's already trying to manipulate your energy is winning. You got to know your own ability, your own power. And I feel like that's what you had to learn was to stand in your power and to exude strength, courage and wisdom. Like the song was saying, we got um, Alicia Keys playing If I Ain't Got You. And so this is the 81. So that sounds very territorial. If I don't got you, nobody can have you. Because she's saying, if I ain't got you. So I feel like, you know, this is what this person, that 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 leader was the emperor. Remember, the emperor showed up and I was picking up on a masculine energy that was just like, you know, almost like somebody who is just like an illusionist, a master manipulator. You know, and this is the type of person, if I can't have you, nobody can. If I can't, you know what I'm saying? If you ain't with me, you ain't going to be with nobody. This is somebody who you thought was a leader. Initially, they, they came off like being a leader. You know, but slowly but surely they started to show you, you know, some red flags. This was somebody that was trying to rule and control, you know, and it was, they was doing so in like with tyranny. There was, a, there was no love, you know what I'm saying? But I feel like there's also somebody coming in that's going to take that leadership role and be more sensitive. As I said, be more compassionate, more empathic, more attentive. This is somebody that knows, you know, um, you know, this is somebody that is being like pruded, as I said, by the divine, like the divine is preparing someone. This person is going through, you know, that dross process, like that dross sense of, you know, like dross. It's like they, they, they go through the fire. It's like that's how you make gold. Or even if you're trying to create diamonds, it's, it has to be pressed and, and, and banged out before it's like becomes that precious gem. And that's what somebody's going through. They're going through their process, you know, of being prepared. And then they're going to emerge someone especially for you, meant for you. This person sees that you are a leader. And that's why they're going through their process so that they can match your fly, your vibration, so that they can lead with you, alongside of you. This 81 speaks to a change. There's a change that's coming right now. It's in the incubation. But somebody's growing in this process. Somebody sees you as a leader. So who's praying on Scorpio's downfall and why? Somebody's mad that you took lead too. You took your power back. We got moderation. What did I say? Somebody's going through some sort of necessary change. You know, they're being prudent. They're going through that dross system, like sy syndrome. It's like, or it's, um, that's dross process. And these are necessary changes. And they're making a lot of emotional changes as well. You know, these are emotional changes. They're changing, you know, their, their love language. They're changing the way they pursue relationships, the way that they are in a relationship. The 14 is five, you know, so this is not just change, but this also is, you know, I'm picking up the throat chakra. So this person will communicate and express some feeling, some emotion. This is a secret admirer. And I feel that's why somebody is really uh, perturbed because they're going to see you come into some sort of beautiful spiritual union with someone that was meant for you. Look at this. You both are psychic intuitives. What did I say about somebody communicating with you telepathically and intuitively? I feel like this person definitely is also someone that's spiritual. They're going through their dark night of the soul journey. They're also being prudent, as I said, prepared for you. And we have survival of the fittest. So this person is also going through some sort of process of growth. Like they're also going through some sort of growing pain because this is called survival of the fittest by mob deep. 
So yeah, this person definitely is, you know, going to come in. You know, they know that you're their person. Somebody really, you know, thought that they was going to block some sort of blessing for you because remember we had new positions. So you're going to be in a new position, not just in terms of your career, but I also feel like you're going to have a new position and role in your personal life. You're coming into a spiritual union and this is going to be not only, um, a love connection, but this is somebody that you will also, you know, there will be a likeness. The two of you remember that familiar and it had, it was guardian. So I felt like your angels were kind of like, you know, conspiring behind the scene to bring someone especially meant for you. This is not just any person. And with homecoming on the bottom of the deck, and we have manifestation. And I was picking up on the fact that you've learned to manifest. So this is somebody that is, you know, coming back because they feel like you're home. They feel like you, you know, love is a house. You are love. You exude love. You, rub, you know, you, um, you exude love, but you also, you embody love. This is somebody that definitely wishes to give you their cup. And this is somebody who's also coming in very, very grounded, very, you know, emotionally, um, stable, balanced, available, you know, this is also someone in the practice, very psychic. I feel like the both of you are mirroring one another. Both of you are very psychic and intuitive because I was picking up somebody who was communicating with you. Remember, we had lucid dreams playing. So I was picking up on somebody sending you messages telepathically or via your dreams. And I was telling you to jot down your, you know, in your dream journals because maybe somebody visits you via your dreams. And this is somebody you could have a history with. Because this says survival of the fittest. So maybe this has been like that runner chaser. You all get together and then there's this war and you didn't let this person bring you down. If this is a new love, you know, this is somebody you could have known in a past life. But I feel like somebody could be trying to block all these blessings because survival of the fittest. So regardless of what somebody could be trying to block or throw in your way so that you can't have this, it's like you're still persevering. You're still resilient. You're still achieving these things. And it's because you're protected. Like I said, with that guardian card, I feel you're spiritually protected, but I also feel your angels are protecting this union. This is a very spiritual protected union because this is something that I feel the two of you are meant to be in union to help heal the collective, period, point blank. This card comes out too many times in your reading, 77. And with the Ace of Chalices, that showed up in the pre-shuffle, and then it came shooting out. So this is what people are hating on, the fact that you're going to be in a very healthy relationship, and this is something that you have worked for. You didn't just go through shit. You grew through it. This is like, you know what I'm saying? You didn't go through anything. You grew through the process, and it didn't. nothing happened to you. It happened for you. That's why forgiveness showed up. You had to forgive yourselves because a lot of y'all was faulting yourselves for going through those things, but you also had to forgive the people that did the wrong, the people that did you dirty, the people that betrayed you, backstabbed you, lied to you, because most of those people, if any of them, they still haven't apologized or taken onus, accountability. In, in fact, what they've done is they've turned around and they're, they're hating on you because you're still standing. It's like, how the fuck is Scorpio still standing? How the fuck is not only is Scorpio still standing, but they're stronger, they're courageous. Now they're talking back. Now they're talking shit. Now they're going after their dreams. They're accomplishing goals and new endeavors. They're embarking on new goals and endeavors. they opening up businesses. Now they got a new lover. Like It's like somebody's literally stalking your life, and they're seeing these things. That's why I've, I tell y'all to be mindful of who you have following you, who you allow into your personal lives, because a lot of these people are spying. A lot of them are setting up dummy accounts so that they could stalk your life, because most of us are wise enough to privatize our, our accounts. So, you know, like I said, some of these people are people that you could have been exes with or friends, you were calling friends. Um, maybe even people in your family could be revealing things of your personal business. See this time out. So this time out is what has given you and granted you this prosperity because you took the time out to master some sort of craft, to build your, 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 um, your level of knowledge, you know what I'm saying? To, to go into the studious energy. You took the necessary time to, to learn. 
you know, to invest in yourself, to invest in your craft, to hone skills, talents, gifts, to, you know, get away from all the noise. Remember, it was called art of noise. And I was saying that that could be very distracting, you know, and because you took that time out, this is reminding me of like, you know, literally having like, you know, that hermit mode, you know, that pause to get away from all the noise, all the chatter, all the people's opinions that you didn't ask for so that you could step away and look from the outside into the situation. And you gain so much, so much wisdom and knowledge just from looking at a situation from a different perspective. You know, this is about like, you know, looking at things from a different vantage point, gaining a whole new, a whole new opinion on a matter. And it's simply because you stepped away, you know, and that 37 is the end, you know? So now you're reapproaching things with a whole new perspective. And that's why prosperity is here. Because some of y'all took some time away to master some sort of skill, talent, some sort of gift. And now you're approaching it with a different, you know, with a whole different lens. And we got the uh, alarm going off. And you have to be mindful because people... You know, these people that you stepped away from, people that you took a pause from. It's like they're literally like trying to figure out how to, to block something. Many of you all had to learn to be compassionate towards yourselves. Like I said, you couldn't judge yourself. You couldn't judge others because you know that people know not what they do. You know, some people do. But some people are very intentional with their bullshit. See that adventure. So you took some time out to figure out who you were. Pride. Some of you all definitely, I feel like there was an ego death, some sort of ego death. You had to take a break from somebody because somebody was very proud, very egotistical, very stubborn. And that's that same energy of, you know, like I said, the, the um, emperor. You know, the emperor can be very, you know, my way or the highway, very overbearing. And so right now we have um, Alicia Keys and this is called Mr. Man. So, yeah, there was some sort of somebody that was in your life that was very, you know, very proud, very egotistical, very stubborn, didn't want to, you know, compromise, felt like they were supposed to just, you know, be able to rule shit because they were the man, because they were the mask and somebody who's chauvinistic, you know, and I feel like, you know, with this 19, you know, maybe because you parted ways from that energy, I feel like that's when things started to blossom for you because this is falling just underneath uh, the prosperity card. So you have 37. 55 and 19, which are all reducing to 10. So this is what you did. You took a time out and then you took a leap of faith to get away from somebody who was an egomaniac. This was somebody who was rough around the edges because we got MC light rough neck. So this was somebody who was rough around the edges. They didn't have any tact. And I feel like you had an epiphany. You know, every ending denotes a new beginning. But I feel like with that light reference, MC light, I feel like the light bulb moment went off for y'all because you kept realizing like you was just bumping into walls with this person. You know what I'm saying? 37, time out. Take that time out. There was a 55. This is the divine also saying, look, you need to seek more adventure. So you was just stuck in the house, hold up, contain this person's living their best life while you sitting in the house, keeping house, being a good wife, being a good husband. And they still ripping and running with their friends, going to the club. This person was very proud, didn't want to get any type of um, feedback. They felt like they was like, you know, above um, correction. Like they could just do what they wanted to do. Very just... Very stubborn, very bullheaded, very annoying. And with this physical activity, you you wasn't getting no action. You was just stuck. This 37, 55, 19. This is you literally taking so much shit on the chin. You know what I'm saying? Burden after burden. Carrying all the burdens of the responsibility in the household and in the relationship. Of the family, of the bills. Not getting a break. All these tens. That's why you're being rewarded. That's why the divine is like, you deserve a blessing. You deserve it. All these tens back to back. This is 10, 10, 10. So this is somebody that you finally said, I'm done. You know, that's what you realize. And this was somebody who was very, very um, stubborn. It was rough around the edges. And it's 730. So that's 10 again. So who's praying on Scorpio's downfall and why? Why is awakening here? So it has teaching and learning. So that's what you had to go through. You know, like I said, this was destined. This was preordained. You was meant to go through this. Because I feel like a lot of y'all, 
but definitely we already know the story overcompensating and not really you know implementing you know or dis displaying self-love and that's why people were like kind of like literally walking all over you taking you for granted you know abusing you that's why they're taking it very personal that you're exuding this strength, courage, and wisdom. And what did I say? Y'all are manifesting something. This abundance card is on the bottom of the deck and prosperity is here. So you are manifesting this 88, 16, and 7. So intuitively, you know, you know, you're trusting what spirit is telling you. Spirit is telling you to keep pushing, keep working on your goals, keep thriving because something beautiful is coming. Trust your intuition. Trust your intuition. Trust your intuition. Don't let anybody talk holes in your head. You got new love coming in. Somebody's very perturbed by that. Like I said, somebody's very possessive over you, Scorpios. Somebody feels like you ain't going nowhere. And you're trusting what energy is saying to you. If somebody's energy doesn't sit right in your spirit, be off that shit. Trust your inner gumption, your intuition. Spiritually guided, divinely protected. Like I said, your angels and ancestors are leaving you signs, synchronicities. A lot of you all don't fall for the okie doke and get caught up in the traps. It was 50-50 again at 10. You're, you're, this is like cut the karmic cord. There's a lesson that has already been learned. Some of you all may try to repeat. You're going to jump right back on that emotional roller coaster ride with this sociopath. Bottom of the deck, I hide what I feel out of fear. Truth is, I love you. I feel like this is that person that's trying to say anything. Remember, I was picking up um, the kiss of death. So with this containment, this is somebody that's trying to keep you stuck. So they're going to say something. You know, maybe they do love you, but they have a twisted way of showing you they love you. And look at this. The name of this song is Fire Water. And this is by Big Pun and Fat Joe. And so the, this is containment. And look at this fire and this water inside. So this is somebody that talks because they have lips. This is somebody you have already learned from, you know, and this is someone the divine is telling you, trust your intuition. Remember you had, um, use your first eye to see, and now you have do not settle for less because somebody is going to try to finesse you, you know, trying to use words. Um, because remember I kept picking up on like a masculine energy that is just, you know, the gift of gabba, somebody that is really a smooth talker, smooth operator. So they're going to be, you know, very manipulative. They're the illusionist. They're going to paint a picture to make you feel like you could trust them. But the divine is saying, trust yourself, trust what you feel, use your intuition. You know what I'm saying? Because this is falling under containment. And remember, you had hex and banishment. So somebody's trying to keep you stuck, don't want you to move on. And this is somebody who's definitely, you know, with fire and water. You know what I'm saying? Water can be, you know, can boil, you know what I'm saying, with heat, with fire. So this is somebody that could potentially, like, boil you. Like, make, like I was picking up the word rage. So this is somebody that knows how to push your buttons. And the divine is reminding you, don't settle for less. Know your worth, know your value. And also, you know, remember the changes you made. Because the divine has somebody that's very, um, that's that's waiting, you know, for the, the cue. You know what I'm saying? It's like the divine is waiting for you to release this person from the past so that they can cue that new love in. And that's why the divine is saying, don't settle. You know what I'm saying? A lot of y'all remember that, that round and round, here we go. Make your next move, your best move card. That's about falling right back into the trap and getting right back on the emotional roller coaster ride and repeating a cycle all over again. So somebody may come back and be like, look, you know, I love you. And they're going to use their words because they know that you're emotional beings. But the divine is telling you to use your intuition because you have grown, beloved. You're psychics now. You're intuitives now. You're in tune and in touch with spirit, with source, with your higher self. What does that tell you? You know what I'm saying? What does that tell you to do? And the divine is reminding you, don't settle. So why, um, who's praying on Scorpio's downfall and why is this incubation and moderation card here for Scorpio's? Divine is telling you to take your power back now because somebody that's coming in is going to be especially meant for you. This is somebody that divine is preparing for you. You are going to be, you know, like... This is like your divine counterpart, the yang to your yin, the yin to your yang. This is why they're going through this process. 
because the divine has heard every prayer, petition, every, you know, every mantra, chant, every journal that you've entered into your journal, your meditate, your manifestation journals. It's like they, they received it. So now, you know, that, that change, that emotional, you know, um, change that you was looking for someone to come in and exhibit is coming. And so the divine wants you to take your power back. You're, you take your power back by rejecting what no longer serves you by, you know, like accepting and being receptive to what does, you know what I'm saying? Being open, divine saying, don't go by words. Let the folks show you 54, 54. This is the change. You have to change your own mind. If you want something to change, you got to change your mind. When you change your mind, you change your reality. And I feel like many of you have done just that. You know, the mind, you know what I'm saying? So many of you were visualizing yourselves in happy relationships Many of you were manifesting this, you know what I'm saying? Setting your intentions, lighting your candles, calling it in on a frequent basis. And now there's love here and you can feel it. You know, this person is going to show you. I mean, somebody could be communicating, like I said, intuitively, you know, somebody is grinding right now. We got clips and this is called grinding. So divine spirit, who's praying on Scorpio's downfall and why is the ace of cups and the spirituality card here? Somebody's been working really hard to change. We got talkings because they talking because they have lips and it says gossip and ass fools. So these people are going to be very jealous. You know what I'm saying? They're already jealous and hateful and envious of the fact that not only are you very psychic and intuitive and you could read them like a book back and front, but also the fact that you have this beautiful emotional connection, a spiritual connection with someone. Something deeper than just physical, as I said. So you ain't just humping around with somebody. It's like y'all are meeting each other, you know what I'm saying, where you are. So you are all into your spiritual practices. So you're going to meet somebody who's also very spiritual. Somebody who also enjoys yoga, meditating, connecting to, with their ancestors, devoting time, you know, going out in nature to connect, grounding themselves, wanting to take those nature walks or wanting to take those hikes, wanting to go to the, you know, to the uh, mountains so that they can go to the waterfalls and get water from the vortex, whatever it is. It's like they're going to match your vibration. And somebody's going to be very jealous of the fact that you've come into alignment with somebody that's very similar to you. It's like you're meeting somebody that speaks your love language in many ways. And there's going to be a lot of jealousy surrounding that, particularly from the ex, from the family, people who don't get it, people who are not on this frequency. And they're going to be really vexed about that. And it's because at the end of the day, I feel like you all have, you know, you've transformed, you've changed. And so you're accepting this change, you're embracing this change. And this is what's causing other people to be really perturbed. So they're starting to like gossip and talk and run their mouth. And remember, I was hearing like kiss of death and people whispering and gossiping and just saying things. So we got love, Jones. We got love in basketball and more infinity. So these are some of my favorite um movies. So like I said, this person is going to try to like gaslight you. They're going to love bomb you. They're going to try to be like, remember that time because we had um, art of noise moments in love. And so this could have been, you know, that person that you already experienced, you know, the end of all endings, you know what I'm saying? The betrayal of all betrayals, you know what I'm saying? And now they're trying to use nostalgia to try to lure you back into the trap, trying to keep you stuck, trying to, you know, pull on your heartstrings. But I feel like a lot of y'all are going to pass that test because this is why prosperity is here. Somebody could just be saying anything because they see that you're abundant. They see that you're successful. So they feel like, shit, I, can, I can't beat them. Let me join them. And let me just say whatever I need to say so that they can embrace me and take me back. But I feel like you all are too psychic for the bullshit. So we have, they feel deeper than they let on. And then we have teaching and learning and awakening. So somebody after they done lost your ass is going to realize I should have treated you better because now, as I said, you're coming into, um, this new spiritual partnership, this new divine counterpart, you know, this connection and somebody is going to be looking back and saying, damn, you know, I should have treated my Scorpio better because now they're awakening to their true feelings. Now they're, you know, kind of like looking at situations, 
you know, they're learning the situation after the fact. This 57 reduces to 12, that's three. So now they're suffering from some sort of heartbreak. Now they're wanting to return or reunite or reconnect or try to work on this. The name of this album is called Lord Willing. And this is by... Um, the clips and this is called grinding. So you've been grinding and working on yourself and now because of the work you've done, somebody now is, you know, coming to some sort of awakening or they're becoming aware of their feelings and they're realizing they love you. And you know, the divine is reminding you don't settle for less because this is the same person that gassed you, you know, gaslighted you, mistreated you. We got Beyonce crazy in love. So this is that person that left you out in the dark, out in the cold, didn't give a damn. Now this person is crazy and in love, so they're going to be stalking you. Remember that song that was saying um, uh, something about I, if I can't have you or something by Alicia Keys, and I had the emperor, and I was saying that this person is one of those people who feel like if I can't have you, nobody can. Well, just be mindful because now this person's going to feel left out in the cold, abandoned, because this is what they initially made you feel. And so they're going to resort to trying to like defame your character, smear campaigns, but this is because you're in in a new and spiritual partnership. I feel like a lot of y'all know this person don't really fuck with you like that. And they just, you know, they, they smile and beguile, but this is all mind fuckery. This is all gaslighting. You know, this person is now feeling, you know, the effects of, you know, karma. So Beyonce crazy in love. Somebody's definitely crazy. You know, they think it's love, but it's lust. And so we have the knave of pentacles. So this is literally like you have been planning and preparing and working on something, you know, and you've, you've faced your fears. This is the strength card. Remember strength, courage, and wisdom. So you've looked all of your, you know, adversaries in the face. You confronted every, you know, every fear you've confronted everything, you know, including, you know, whatever tra traumas you experience, abandonment, childhood, you know, whatever it was, you know, that led to you being um, you know, overcompensating and self-sacrificing and, you know, self-sabotaging in your relationships. You've healed a lot of that. That's why you have personal growth, you know? And so now we have this three of wands. This is you, you know, literally like working on, you know, something, planning, preparing, strategizing. That's like that ready, set, go energy. Maybe somebody is ready to come in, you know, that you've been manifesting and I see this death card, so you've definitely ended a cycle. And every ending denotes a new beginning, but this death represents Scorpio, and that's about regeneration. That's about rebirth, you know, transforming from something, startling metamorphosis, going through, you know, painful loss, emotional loss, you know, having to withdraw from other people so that you could focus on healing yourselves. That's why I said this Ace of Chalices is first and foremost about healing thyself. And learning what your love language is. When you learn to heal yourselves, you learn how to love yourselves again. You begin to learn your love language. And therefore, you won't allow others to mistreat you, misguide you, you know, take you for granted. So that was a part of the growing pains you had to go through. Look at this. You got somebody spying and stalking your life. We could see they're spying and stalking. Some of you all could absolutely be, you know, in this. See this? It's like. The divine is giving you those hints of what somebody's doing because this almost looks like a big cauldron and then there's people doing some sort of like ritual and this is the same, you know, cauldron that people could be trying to keep you contained and stuck in. And with crazy and love, somebody could be doing some sort of love spells, voodoo spells, trying to block love even from coming in. And this is somebody spying and stalking. This is, I always feel like somebody's watching me. And this is what they're doing, sitting around, got nothing better to do. They tune into your channel, grab some popcorn, and start scrolling. And then they try to duplicate. And this is because you have a brand new beginning, a passionate new start. You're moving forward, upward and onward. You ain't looking backwards no more. There's nothing back there but pain and hurt. And you've learned from your mistakes. This this Ace of Wands is like you are like starting new ventures. Like I said, you you embarking on new endeavors. You moving forward, you know, to go towards your dreams. And these people are sitting around watching and stalking. This is also you, you know, becoming aware that you have people doing some sort of shit. Because this could be you looking in on your adversaries trying to, you know, concoct some shit. And that's how you learned how to banish those spells. You know, how to return to fucking sender, but you moved away from that shit. 
You see how you moved away? You moved on. You moved far away. You didn't tell nobody nothing. And we got the car bomb. And this is by Charlie Henry. And this is called Car Bomb. So you, some of y'all moved. Like you packed up your car and left. Some of y'all just left all your furniture. Sold it and left. Took that money and, and found a new spot. But we see here that there was, you know, this, this change of direction. You relocated, you moved, you created space. And you also created a safe haven, a safe, you know, a safe space for yourself. And with this Queen of Wands, this is absolutely, you know, your energy, you know, really, you know, embodying that energy of somebody very fierce, very passionate, you know, going after what you want. You know, manifesting also, you know, because she has this chalice. That's why I feel like this is your energy. There's this chalice here. So it's also like, you know, I was picking up the fact that you were manifesting new love. You were manifesting what you wanted. You was literally sitting and, and thinking of all of the characteristics, attributes of the person you desired to come your way. And you said, first and foremost, I want somebody spiritual, somebody connected, tapped in, tuned in, someone attentive, emotionally intelligent. Because nobody has, you know, some people know not what they do or some people have nothing better to do. They just sit around and gossip and talk because they have lips. They gossip like little girls, school children, school girls. You know what I'm saying? And this is all a matter of divine timing. Everything you went through, it's like good things take time to create. So the divine was testing you and probing you as well to see if you was going to be patient enough to wait for what you asked for. We got De La Soul. This is called Getaway. So I do feel like, you know, you did get away from all of that energy, that toxicity. And now you're receiving good karma. Good things take time to create. I also feel like your good karma is coming in. So the things that you've asked for, you know what I'm saying, is all coming to you. The divine is like literally turning things around in your favor, working things out in your favor. You're receiving your just due. And this is also the prosperity, the abundance, the stability, the security, the opulence. This is learning who those rats are at your job or who those rats were that were trying to keep you from achieving some sort of success, you know, trying to block some sort of uh, promotion or block some sort of business deal, whatever it is. You've learned who those rats were, people who were sitting around you pretending, but the rats also in Asian culture, you know, they represent or they're a symbol of prosperity and abundance. So I do feel like you all have a lot of abundance coming in. And this is something that you all have manifested. And I feel like it is your karma. You know, the seeds you've sown, you've reaped them in good faith. And the divine is, is, is literally like, look, there's a card here. See this? This is what somebody is up in their head. This is regret, remorse. And this is get away. Somebody, and this says the spirit of the woo. So I do feel like, you know, the spirit, you know what I'm saying? Like, like I was saying, like somebody recognizes your beautiful soul, your beautiful heart, you know, how likable you are. And now somebody is like, you know, looking in the mirror, they can't recognize themselves because now they're starting to see, you know, that they were functioning in some dark energy. This like a mirror reflection. This mirror is reflecting back to them that they was on demon time, you know, and this is the regret because now they realize like, damn. You know, you, you've abandoned them. They realize they feel deeper. You know, something that they, they was wearing a mask. They took the mask off only to see that they, they still look like they got a mask on. They, they still on demon time. You know, this is regret, remorse, shame, agony, pain. This is somebody that was, you know, self-sabotaging. This is also that nine of swords energy. Somebody could literally be waking up in cold sweats and dreams like, you know, we got four page letter by Aaliyah. So this is somebody definitely, you know, that's a secret admirer now, or maybe they're writing these letters, penning these letters in anger, frustrated, angry. Yeah. Somebody got regrets. This is somebody that cannot get rest at night. The nine of swords. Woo. Suffering from insomnia. And it's because now you're 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 receiving some sort of blessings. So let's see. Divine Spirit of Love and Light. Why is containment? Why is containment personal growth? 
I hide what I fear, feel out of fear. Truth is I love you. And the nine of swords here. And so we have the hangman. See that? This is a sacrificial position. This is what the divine puts someone in. Someone is starting to peel back the layers. Remember I was picking up, and it's an onion. They're realizing they was like really, they was, they was like, they was really, um, nasty. You know, they were being nasty. They weren't being kind. They're being forced to look at themselves. This is like reflecting, you know, this is like that dark night of the soul. You got to look at yourself. You know what I'm saying? Sometimes you're going to look in the mirror and not see what you look, what's looking back at you. And that's what this person is having with this four page letter. This person feels sorry. They're feeling, you know, apologetic. You know, they may be feeling guilty and see the emperor's here. What did I say? I was picking up. You know, and it's because they was kiss. They was like talking ill. Remember, I was picking up like I was saying, like you know, would you kiss your mother with that mouth? This person said a lot of mean, you know, ugly shit, and it was just one ten ten. So that's like one one one, and so it's three. So they was really ugly, really nasty, gossiping. They hurt you. They broke your heart. They betrayed your trust. Some of them was stealing from you, and now it's like the divine is is forcing this person to look at their actions. You know, this hangman, this is like what they're feeling. They, some of them are feeling like suicidal. You know what I'm saying? Some of them feel like, damn, you know, my Scorpio will never forgive me. And maybe some of them was under some sort of spell work. You know, maybe they was dealing with addictions, especially with the drugs and the, the liquor on the table. It's like they was popping pills, drinking. You know what I'm saying? Some of them was doing shit. And because you were protected, remember you had that guardian, you was protected by your angel. So all the shit they could have been throwing at you was being returned to sender. So the shit they was trying to send to you, maybe they wanted you to feel suicidal. Maybe they wanted you to feel down on your love. You know what I'm saying? Maybe they was trying to send that spirit act to you and they ended up, you know, falling on the sword. They was waging at you. And with four page letter, now they're trying to figure out how to apologize. You got your pick of the litter. This person thought that they had you in some sort of rotation of women or had you in some sort of, you know, love, um, you know, triangle. You know what I'm saying? This is like having multiple options and people and, you know, just talking, just saying things. Remember, I was picking up like smooth operators, somebody who feels like they don't got to an answer to nobody. You know what I'm saying? That's that emperor vibe. The emperor thinks he could just do what he wants to do and he don't have to answer to nobody. Like he could just... You know, come and go as he pleases. And that's literally what came out. So that's that divine masculine energy. And that's not really a divine masculine. That's somebody very stubborn. Remember, I was picking up on somebody stubborn. Somebody who you was dealing with that was like a male chauvinist. You know, and if it wasn't a male chauvinist, this was like, you know, a, a freaking narcissistic female who felt like she didn't have to do nothing but sit there, look pretty, and still be showered with all kind of shit. They want shit to go their way. They don't want to hear. They're not They're not open to correction. They think it's their way or no way. Just very narcissistic. And that's what she was dealing with. Somebody very selfish, very self-absorbed. And so we have here, look at this, the eight of um, chalices. This is that person you walked away from. That's why the divine was saying like, yo, you grew from this situation. You've already learned. And see how this feminine energy is like, nah, I'm good. They're trying to offer you something. They're trying to entice you to take it back. Remember, I was telling you that this person was literally trying to like use songs, words, you know what I'm saying? Because remember, we had art of noise. So this person will literally, you know, be saying things to distract you, but you're not getting distracted. Her body language is a, a language in and of itself. And you're saying, do not disturb my groove. I am uninterested in what the fuck you're selling, sir. Or ma'am, like, nah, I don't want that. You keep that. How about you give that to whoever you was giving it to before? That's your sentiment. It's like you're not interested. And that's why the divine was telling you, you know what I'm saying? Use your first eyes to see, you know what I'm saying? To not settle because you got a real divine connection here. And this divine connection is something the divine himself is preparing and prepping your person for it. it's like I said in that former reading the divine is cueing your divine counterpart the yang to your yin yin to your yang your soulmate your twin flame into this uh love story here you know what I'm saying they're cueing your person so that you two can come into union this person is returning remember we had homecoming so somebody's returning to you because you feel like home there's a synergy a connection there's an attraction that somebody feels and they're coming back for you and so we have 
Takal plan by Method Man. So this person is trying to strategize and, and be very methodical in how they come towards you. And this is a masculine coming your way. Maybe they had to break up from some sort of karmic that had them trapped in some sort of illusion. Trying to block them from coming into you because there's a lot of a cloud of smoke and then there's a feminine off in the distance. So it's almost like this ma this masculine may have to break free. And this is a, your twin flame. This is not an ex that I'm picking up. This is somebody that is meant for you because this is the person that's going through their own dark night of the soul journey. And remember, I've referenced draw syndrome. You know, this is somebody being prudent, especially for you. And remember that guardian card came out, you know, and I feel like this is somebody, your angels, your spirit team, your guardian, your ancestors sending for you. And this person is going to feel very familiar. And this person is going to feel like home. They're returning home to you. You feel like home to them. So divine spirit, who's praying on Scorpio's downfall and why? Why is the star right here? Moderation and take your power back now. Why is the star a take? Thank you. And so we have the eight of pentacles. See that? Somebody's coming in to invest. This is somebody that's willing to collaborate, to invest long term. They want to provide stability, security. This is someone very methodical. This is also somebody that knows that you get busy, you know, that you, they see your worth. They see your value. They see how much you've changed. They see that you've taken your power back, that you've been mastering your craft, keeping your mind on your money and your money on your mind. They also know that you are emotionally balanced. Maybe this is somebody who's also trying to come in to, you know, help, you know, to help build, you know, like I said, that nucleus, to invest, to support you, to be supportive, to be your rock. This is somebody very methodical. So they're really planning, preparing, trying to strategize how to come towards you. They're trying to muster up the strength, courage, and wisdom because they got to match your fly. You know, this person has been also watching you, keeping tabs. So they see the changes that you've made, the moderations that you've made. They also know that your love language has changed. So you're not going to be all giving. You're not bending over backwards, forwards, sideways for anybody because you now have strength, courage, and wise dome. So you will confront shit head on. No longer, you know, like I said, being passive. And, you know, this person knows they're going to have to match your flock. It's powerful. So why is uh, Ace of Chalices spirituality and talking because they have lips here for who's hating on Scorpio's downfall and why? And we got the Three of Wands. See that? So like I said, you've manifested something. And you're going to have a whole bunch of people talking and gossiping and watching and clocking because they're seeing you literally manifest in real time. First and foremost, they see that you are not the same person. You've transformed. You're no longer that bruised, damaged soul. You're no longer that passive person. You're no longer, you know, um, dealing with insecurities. You have healed thyself. You're also tapped in. So you're very psychic. You're intuitive. You can see through people's bullshit. And we got Pharaoh Munch. This is called Black Hand Side featuring Styles P and Fonty. So it's like on the black hand side, it's like you literally have somebody that's coming in that's literally going to be like, you know what I'm saying, your your counterpart. And somebody is going to be pissed off, ticked off, and they ain't going to be able to do nothing but this. Oh, she thinks she all of that. Oh, he think he all of that. They're spying on your life. They're literally spying. They know you've manifested something. It's like you're manifesting something that everybody's like watching. They're watching you literally be master manifestors. They're watching you literally set intention and whatever it is you're calling in is here. It's coming. And with Pharaoh, it's like you all are, like I said, you're, you're, you're healers, shamans, light workers. You're like in the practice. This is powerful, Scorpios. And we got the two of swords here on the bottom of the deck. So this is definitely somebody who's trying to come in and confuse you. Have you in two minds, you know what I'm saying? Or somebody who was already had you in two minds. They was probably, you know, playing you. It's like, you know, that air violin almost. You know what I'm saying? Somebody that's trying to like, you know, like I said, gaslight mind fuck. Because remember, we had mind sex. And I feel like you're going to, you're going to really, um, you're going to defeat that devil because the divine is congratulating you. It says you've experienced many life changes. Congratulations. And that's the card that comes when you go through transformations, regenerations, rebirths, startling metamorphosis. It's like even the distractions, you know what I'm saying? All these distractions, you've been able to, you know, avert them, avoid them. 
you know, and you got people here. Look at this. You're still moving forward. Remember I was saying, like, the music, you know, is the devil's, um, you know, the devil controls music. And so it's like you, you're you now beating, you know, these demons at their own game to the point where they, they stopped pursuing you. You know what I'm saying? Because you're, you're, you're woke, you're, you're aware, you know, you're, you're like, you're psychic. So you, you know how to dupe them. They're very in tune. So why is, um, prosperity time out adventure and pride and love Jones here for who's praying on Scorpio's downfall? Damn. Y'all got a lot of messages and I'm told to take them all. So first and foremost, we got the tower. See that? This is the ending. Remember you had all these tens. And now you got the tower, first card that I see. So this is exactly why you're being rewarded. This is why you're being blissed because you have survived this tower moment. This is that painful and en en this painful ending. You know what I'm saying? Discovering you were being deceived, betrayed. You know what I'm saying? Discovering you were sleeping with the devil. You were sleeping with the enemy. Remember I was hearing kiss of death. And that's only somebody that you are occupying a home with that could give you the kiss of death. That's somebody, remember I was also picking up like somebody like you kiss your mother with that mouth. Like, so this is somebody that was like out there with, with like sexual addiction, sleeping with prostitutes, hoes, strippers in the back room, and then coming home, climbing in the bed, trying to be sexual with you. So they suffered from like incubus, succubus, um, energy. They were energy vampires. We got the seven of wands. So you knew to protect yourself and to set healthy boundaries. You know what I'm saying? It's almost like the divine, you know, made you impervious to threat. They shed, they shed some sort of light, you know, because we see here you got seven, seven, and then you got the seven personal growth. So you obviously were growing more sensitive, psychically, intuitively, you know what I'm saying? And clairvoyantly, you know what I'm saying? And so I feel like, you know, this led you to seeing the demons. It's like their masks were lifted. So you were able to see and you protected yourself. It's almost like this is like, um... Remember in Spider-Man and he had um, kryptonite and that's what this is. Like this light is like kryptonite to these demons because they only like to, you know, they like to maneuver in the dark, you know, because they can't be seen. But when you shed this light, you got to see all of these demons, all these demonic entities, energies that was lurking. People who was like plotting on your downfall, people who were like in cahoots, you know what I'm saying, with one another. And we got audio too. This is called top billing. And it's because, like I said, you're, you're coming into some sort of abundance. Somebody's literally still trying to block blessings. These people are mad at you because you were, you came out on top. They didn't see this coming. You know what I'm saying? And, and you're sitting here, you got your back turned to the bullshit. You have since turned your back to all of them. And they're frustrated. They're mad that they cannot ride your coattail no more. You know what I'm saying? You've created healthy boundaries. You're on your do not disturb my groove. I'm practicing self-love, self-care. I know my worth. I'm also practicing self-discipline. So now you're exhibiting that strength, courage, and wisdom. You're not just falling for the okie doke because you've learned from this tower moment. And so now look at that. You made the decision to move away. You made a decision to create a safe space, a safe haven, a sanctuary for yourself. And now these people are feeling like they, they missed some sort of opportunity. You see the tower off in the distance? So this is something that they now are reflecting back on. Remember that four-page letter was playing. So now they're trying to pen a letter of an apology because they realize that you have, you know, you figured them out. Somebody had some sort of ego death. Remember, you had um, this pride here. So they suffered an ego death. Somebody realized what they came, you know, how they look, what they did. You know, the secrets were, you know, that they were trying to keep from you were exposed, you know. And so we see here with the Queen of Pentacles, you bounced back. You were on your, your grind. Remember, grinding was playing. So you didn't get distracted. You didn't allow them to distract you and veer you off your path. You stayed focused and you channeled all of that pain into power. And what you did was you reestablished, you, you know, rebuilt on a more solid foundation after that tower was destroyed. You took it, you know, upon yourself to rebuild and you did not get sidetracked. You stayed focused. You kept your boots to the ground and you worked your asses off to achieve this. That's why the divine is congratulating you here because you've succeeded at staying the path, staying the course. And with top billing, I feel like you all are on top of the world right now. 
I feel like you also defeated your enemies. That's why these people are hating and plotting and scheming and stalking your life. We got the knave of wands now. I feel like this person literally wants to come in and apologize because now your absence is it's like they feel, you know, you slipping away. Energetically, they can feel it. I feel like you taught them something. You know, they taught you a valuable lesson, which is why you got personal growth here. But they taught you how to trust your intuition. They taught you how to, you know, pay attention to red flags. But you taught them how to be better humans. You know what I'm saying? How, like, you know, you're, you're going to get back what you give out. You know what I'm saying? So now they want to come back. They want to apologize. And this is somebody who's had some sort of awakening, some sort of, you know, some sort of aha moment. So let's see. Why is um, awakening, teaching, and learning? You left me in my darkest times. Okay, this card flew down here. See that? Seven of Swords. And we got Jill Scott, whatever. So this person now, this is the Seven of Swords. The people they was trusting, the people they were sitting around, bumping their gums with, talking shit about you too. Now these people are out to get them. This person is very paranoid. They're afraid that their lies are going to be exposed. This is also somebody who is suffering from mental anguish, ruminating, pining, gaslighting. You know, all of the lies they told caught up to them. Because this is the same person that left you in their, your, your darkest time. Now they feel left out in the cold. And now they're realizing how they felt. And now they're also realizing that they were deceiving themselves. Because this is the same person that's looking in the mirror and can't recognize themselves. This is that person that was wearing a mask, being fake and fugazi, you know, running from the truth, being childish, you know, that mind sex energy is like mind fuckery, duping, gaslighting, talking because you got lips. And so this person now, this is self-deception, but this is also, you know, they, they're trying to protect themselves like somebody's out to get them. So all these demonic entities and energies that they surrounded themselves with in the past. Where's that card? All these people, you know what I'm saying? See how there's multiple people? They've now started to look at their inner circles to realize that they were running with some, some, some low vibrational energy. And they realize this because by you going through your dark night of the soul journey and awakening to your power, it triggered somebody. You know, it activated somebody to look at themselves, which is why they can't even recognize themselves. Where did that card go? I just lost it again. Where did it go? I can't even find it. I don't know where it went. There it is. I put it over here. See that? So now somebody's forced to look at themselves. And you just like, whatever. You know what I'm saying? I wish you well on your journey, beloved, but I'm, I'm off to bigger and better. Because here we have the um, hermit. So like I said, a thing can only distract you if you give it your attention. You're doing your internal work. You know what I'm saying? You have removed yourself from any distractions, from anything, people, places, things. And you're doing internal work. You're working on yourself. And you're reflecting back on what it is that you've experienced. And that's what led to you, you know, becoming aware of what it is you wanted to pursue. What it is you wish to do with your life and with whom you wish to do. So let's see. We're going to get some additional messages. And then we're going to wrap it up. So we got Jill Scott, whatever. Privileged lady on the bottom of the deck. This is divine feminine energy. If you're a masculine, this is your energy as well. You're just balanced. That's the number 12, 3. So somebody definitely is seeing you as such. Very powerful, very maternal, very loving, nurturing, very masterful in your ability to manifest, set intention. You are a co-creator. You're the alchemist, the magi, beautiful, very attractive. You're attracting everything you desire. And that's why somebody feels very possessive, you know, and obsessive over you. They don't want you to have success if it's not going to be with them. That's literally what I'm seeing. Look at this. Great fortune. Great fortune, unexpected income. Just as I'm speaking about somebody not wanting you to have success, this is what they don't want you to have. They don't want you to have this if it's not with them. And you like whatever. The divine is going to give this to you regardless because the divine is already congratulating you. You're going to be rewarded with unexpected income. So that this is like 
This is like wish fulfillment, a prayer, an answered prayer, a miracle being granted. This is great fortune. This is like abundantia pouring out all of this abundance to you. And it's because of what you have done. You've done the work internally. And so externally, you're going to start seeing the payoff. And we have family room on the bottom of the deck. So this person that you already planted roots with, seeds, somebody that you've had a family, this person taught you a lot about yourself. And I feel like whatever you've been through, you've survived it. What doesn't kill you makes you stronger. I feel like this person was detached, disconnected from their emotions, didn't speak your love language. I feel this person now regrets and has shame and remorse for their actions. And I feel like deep down, you're like, whatever, because you felt like this person was like anchoring you and blocking you from your happiness and your peace. And so now you're looking to move forward. You're looking, you know, to have reciprocal and loving dynamics and connections because you realize your worth and value and what you bring to the table. We got here high honor. So somebody definitely is coming in. The divine, like I said, is cueing that person to enter into your life. That's going to come in with commitment on the brain that wants to invest. This is somebody that wants victory with you, success with you. This is that person that will be willing to collaborate, to work together, to support you. And I feel like it's because you took your power back and discovered what your worth and value was. So you're no longer settling so it's like Baba Ogun is bringing this victory. This is a marriage ceremony. Other people seeing you have some level of success. Why is a star in moderation? Take your power back now. Thank you. Somebody's receiving a message of concern that you are coming into union with somebody else. And this is bring me down. So this person, you know what I'm saying, may try to come in with some news, may try to say some things to try to kill your mood, to bring you down. And the divine is literally, you know, saying like, stay focused, beloved. Keep your eyes on the prize. Don't let nobody distract you. Because remember, I was saying somebody was like gaslighting. Somebody was definitely trying to figure out a way to, to have you stuck on stupid, to control you. You know what I'm saying? And maybe this message of concern could be you letting somebody know like, look, I'm with somebody. Because this is Saigon, bring me down. You got a mature man coming in. What did I say about the divine is cueing your true love. This person likes what they see and they're about to communicate this to you. They're about to express deep feelings, deep love. They've been going through their dark night of the soul process. They've been pruded and prepared. They're going to emerge someone wise. This could be somebody that could be at a distance. They may have to travel to see you. You know what I'm saying? They may be. You know what I'm saying? Maybe five hours away from you. Maybe they're five towns away from you. You know what I'm saying? Maybe they're like, you know, five minutes away from you. Whatever it is, there's travel necessary. I feel like you may have known this person or maybe you haven't spoken to this person in a while. Maybe when you last spoke to this person, maybe there was some sort of disagreement, some sort of exchange. I feel like somebody has grown. They have matured since you've last spoken to them. I feel like they think the world of you also. Why is chalice spirituality talking? Because they have lips and a three of wands. Thank you, spirit. Great fortune. I can't make this shit up. Not only will you have emotional fulfillment, but you will also have financial fulfillment, stability, success, opulence, expansion. And I feel like y'all know. And that's why y'all got a bunch of motherfuckers hating and jealous and just talking because they have lips because they sitting around feeling like they entitled to your shit. Oh, I was there and I helped her and I helped him and I did this and that and they can't even give me nothing. The divine is like, yeah, whatever. You wasn't nowhere. Y'all went through the dark night of the soul journey, Scorpios, on your own. You didn't have nobody to dial up and, and ask for that word of advice. If you did, those people were barely there. Because most of y'all dealt with this, you know, with your, your, your pain on your own. And that's why the divine is like, yo, y'all, y'all deserve this congratulations, this reward, these recognitions. This is you bliss, being blissed, beloved. And this is because you all did your work. You trusted your intuition. You followed the spiritual guidance from your angels, your ancestors. And so now there's great fortune. You know, this is like wish fulfillment. Like I said, this is like a, a, a miracle being granted for you an answered prayer. This is you not having to worry about anything, beloveds, because, you know, there's going to be people talking, gossiping. Y'all going to be in on the tip of everybody's tongue. See that unexpected income here. And we got prosperity. Some of y'all are going to be winning scratch off tickets, lotto tickets, sweepstakes. You gonna win a new car, new house. 
something because this is unexpected. Like I was picking up earlier with that new position, y'all going to get a phone call one day just saying, look, you know, uh, you got a job. You got a new promotion. You got the position that you forgot all about. And they're going to offer you a beautiful Maybe y'all are going to get like a 9,000 bump in your in income, or maybe you're going to make $9,000 more a year, or maybe you're just going to receive $9,000, you know, a month, you know, monthly, you know what I'm saying? But this is like unexpected, something that you don't even see coming. And this is a blessing, a gift from the divine. This is like you being, you know, rewarded for all of your hard work for completing all those cycles. You know, this personal growth you've learned on many levels, you know, that I'm picking up like world card energy because you literally had to master so many levels. You know what I'm saying? It's just like a video game. You don't just beat one game and you won the game. You don't just beat one level rather and you won the game. You have to go through many different levels. Sometimes you got to go through 20 levels before you can beat the game. And I feel like y'all had to go through, through like three major lessons, karmic lessons that you had to complete. You know what I'm saying? And I feel like you've completed it and that's why you're being rewarded. You're being blissed. So we have Joey Badass. This is called Word is Bond. You kept your word and you kept your face. I mean, you kept your, your yourself focused on the task at hand. And I feel like a lot of people, you know, that was mistreating you, mishandling you. You know what I'm saying? It's like you use that as motivation. You almost used people as motivation. You know, because with word is bond, like I said, somebody could have been just like love bombing y'all, you know, but didn't mean anything they said. They would just say things because they felt like they could pull on your emotional strings and get you to do whatever you wanted. But remember, I was saying that music is like, you know, that was um, that song, Art of Noise. So I was picking up like with that song that somebody was just talking because they had lips or somebody was just trying to, um, you know, not just gaslight you, but they were trying to... Um, and that's a that's confirmation. So it was like somebody was an illusionist. Somebody was, you know, a sweet talker, you know, a smooth operator. You know what I'm saying? But their word wasn't bond. They didn't mean anything they said. You know, these were people that caused tower moments in your life. People you discovered was like setting you up for failure. You know, people who had you caught up in third party, party of four, five, six. People who was gossiping about you, talking about you trying to set you up, line you up, but you seen clearly who these individuals were. And instead, what you did was you beat them and you moved your asses away, created healthy space, and you started to love yourself. Self-love made you more attractive. Now they're looking at you like, God, damn! God, damn! <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Now they realize they feel deeper. You feel deeper now, you know what I'm saying? But that's what self-love does. Self-love makes you more attractive. It makes you more desirable. But it also, it makes you attractive to the things that you wanted. You know, wish fulfillment and all of that. So why is prosperity here? Thank you, spirit. So we have thoughts. What did I say? Somebody can't get you out of their head. They sick. Somebody is sick. They, it, they, this person definitely is like, now they suffer from bad health. Now they feel the pain that they caused you. This 31 reduces to four. So I feel like their heart is broken. They can't stop thinking about your ass. They know that they made a lot of empty promises. They said they was going to do X, Y, and Z, but their ego and their pride, you know, their stubbornness led them to just talking and making empty promises. And now they're missing you. Some of them are, you know, suffering from like spiritual, tr spiritual transmitted disease. Some of them are suffering from actual spirit, like sexual transmitted diseases. But I do feel like somebody's mental, somebody's up in their head also, you know what I'm saying? Agonizing and, and really, you know, suffering from regret, shame, remorse, knowing they should have done better by you because now this person is realizing they feel deeper. They love you. They, this is something that they were so detached from was their feelings. They can't stop thinking about you. With this 16, they definitely communicate with you a lot. You know what I'm saying? Telepathically, intuitively. And I feel like y'all handled this, you know, very, very um, respectfully and tactfully. You didn't judge these individuals. And we have message. So remember I was saying somebody definitely has a, like a, a secret admirer or this could be somebody who wants to send you a message and apologize but I do feel like they send you messages like, you know, even in your dreams, they could be visiting you or maybe they're sending messages telepathically or intuitively, you know what I'm saying? But they can't stop thinking about you. They can't, 
get you off their head, off their mind. You know what I'm saying? And this same person, you know, he's he's like drawing pictures and scribing letters. And, and they're suffering from heartbreak. Some of you all could work in the medical field. You could be helping people. Maybe you work for insurance or maybe you work as nurses. Maybe you work in the hospital. But I do get a sense like you, you know, you, 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 you work with people, you know, that within the health field. We have Foxy Brown um, featuring Total I Can't. So, yeah, I, like I said, somebody can't get you off their mind and they're suffering from heartbreak. And somebody's eventually going to send you a letter, call you up, send you a DM, mail you a letter literally or text you a message. And I feel like you're going to handle it with tact because you're being rewarded. You know, so why is um, awakening, teaching and learning? They feel deeper than they let on. The Queen of Pentacles and all of these other cards here. <laughs> I can't go through all of it. So we got toil and labor. See that? So the divine... Is definitely, you know, somebody's having to go through some sort, you know what I'm saying, of karma. You know, maybe they're feeling like they're not, you know, seeing the results. You know, they feel like they're just working hard and there's no results. Uh, but I do feel like with you, you know what I'm saying, this awakening that you've had, you know, your hard work is paying off. Because all of that toil and then labor, this is like 11 and 11. So maybe your person is going through, you know, feeling like they have to... You know, they have to work hard to achieve some sort of goal. And maybe you're just going to be blissed with some sort of abundance because of, you know, all of this hard work that you've put in. Because we do see this queen of pentacles. So somebody is definitely trying to maybe scheme on somebody's riches, on somebody's finances. Maybe somebody's trying to plot and scheme. But you're going to be victorious over your enemies, over your frenemies, over your haters. Because this sudden wealth is definitely, it's like I said, you got sudden wealth, you got great fortune, you have prosperity. Remember, you had abundance underneath the numerology deck. So this is absolutely like, there's no denying that you all are coming into some sort of abundance and there's victories here. And you got a wealthy man and you got the mature woman. And you're expecting this, like I said, you can feel it, sense it, you know, there's this tingling sensation. Like, you don't have the spirituality seven and the, you know, personal growth card with the seven. That's seven, seven, seven. So this is speaking about luck. You know what I'm saying? You guys are very lucky in love, lucky in, you know, achieving some sort of goal. Like, things are opening up for you because I feel people was really trying to block some sort of blessing. And because you are, you know, because your angels and ancestors you know, are very instrumental in protecting you and in bringing these blessings because you can't receive wish fulfillment and blessings unless the divine himself is approving it. So nobody can't block your blessings. You know what I'm saying? They can't block your prosperity. And that's why they're going to be suffering in silence and feeling regret and remorse and feeling stupid because they're going to have to sit back and literally watch you, you know, right off in the sunset with somebody that is like you're equally yoked with, you know, and that's what they hating on. They praying on your downfall. And this person is not going to be able to take it. They're going to be sick. They're going to be sick just like this. Sick thinking about shoulda, coulda, woulda. That's all they're going to be riddled with. Shoulda, coulda, woulda. Memories of you. Nostalgia. That's why this card showed up. Because this is like a nostalgia card. This is them reminiscing back on when they had your ass. And they didn't take the time out to be attentive and affectionate and, and entertain you and date nights and doing things to show you they love you, being chivalrous, being, you know, charming or courting you or, you know, treating you like that divine feminine or divine masculine. They're going to be sitting here now riddled with regret and remorse because they let, you know, time slip away, you know, and the way you feel right now is like time is currency, your time, your energy you know what I'm saying? Is currency nowadays. You don't you don't just divvy that shit out to anybody. And that's why they feel left out in the cold because you've created boundaries. You're trusting what the divine is saying when they say do not settle because you got somebody that is definitely on your vibration. They're spiritual, they're in the practice, they're definitely in love with you and they speak your love language so they're not afraid to emote. And these people going to be sick. This you you heading down the aisle. 
Y'all going to be on some island like jumping over a broom or doing some sort of commitment ceremony. And this is why, you know, they're going to be getting these messages of concern. Like, did you hear Scorpio was engaged? Did you hear Scorpio elope? Did you hear? Did you hear? That's them gossiping ass mofos bumping their gums. You know what I'm saying? And this is going to be this person's sentiment. They hid what they felt. You know what I'm saying? You ain't got time to be dealing with somebody hiding shit. You grown as fuck. Who got time to be waiting? Like, we are not in high school, people. Like, <laughs> I need you to get it together. But yeah, now they sitting here, you know, whoever they were sitting around gossiping and flocking to, now they fearing for their life, fearing that this person or these individuals is out to get them. So now they, they protecting themselves. It's just like, it's just fuckery. And that's because what you throw out, you get back tenfold, infinitely. In my case, I say infinitely, fuck tenfold. So what did I say? We got let us see, think of you. And what did I say? This person is sitting here imprisoned in their mind with thoughts of you. So somebody is thinking of you, thinking of you day and night. And remember, we had lucid dreams. They could be waking up in cold sweats, touching, reaching for you in the bed, and your ass long gone. You've been gone for six, seven years, five years, three years, two years for some of y'all. And this is them. Shame. Shameful. What the hell was I going through? Maybe they was under some sort of love spell. Maybe somebody they done, you know, they done duped you for, left you for, cheated on you for, done messed them up. But message of concern. Somebody's going to be receiving some sort of news that's going to have them really, really sick. They're going to be heartbroken. And they're going to be looking back, thinking about coulda, shoulda, woulda. But um, this is your reading, beloved Scorpios. I hope the messages resonate. If you found that it did, please be kind. Hit the like, the share, the subscribe button. Definitely hit the bell notification so you know whenever I upload. If you are new, I hope you stay a while. And if you are returning, you already know what it is, beloveds. Love is love is love. I want to send a beautiful shout out to my soul sister who sent me a beautiful love donation today. I want to say thank you, my soul sister, Vanetta Burns. Thank you, beautiful soul, for thinking of me and for sending that love donation. I send it back to you infinitely. May you be blessed. Thank you all for tuning in and tapping in. Until next time, Ashe.